Yo, yo, yo! What's up, everyone? Today we have something that requires a laser tag. Not a laser tag, but a, a note about the laser. So uh, I apologize for my posts, um, trying to stay in frame. But today we got the Piopoli Moi. Or Moi? Moi? I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that, but I've been looking forward to this machine for, for quite some time. It's a really I hear it's a really impressive uh, SLA 3D printer and I've just, I haven't really unboxed the machine yet. I thought that we maybe could do that together. But I did, however, open the resins. You can check these out. Here are some resin. Uh, two types of bottles. There's white and there's gray and I'm not sure if there's anything else inside the box. So those were all in this box. And we also got, whoa. In that box, we also got one of these, which is a build tray. So I'll just try to keep things a little bit organized, maybe. Something like that. And yeah, um, I should have an overhead camera, but I, I'm, I'm running out of cameras. <laughs> so we're opening up this. We're getting... Uh, some signs here, the Piopoli and the uh, warning signs. We've got some, some of those that we can put, uh, put away. We also get some notes. Thank you for purchasing Moai by Piopoli. Here's steps to get started. One, check the patch for damages, take pictures if needed. I've done that. Find the SD card located in the accessory box that also contains screws and tools. Top layer, somewhere in here. Uh, Please open my startup guide PDF in the root directory of the SD card. Sure, I'll do that as soon as I've uh, unboxed everything. And hopefully it doesn't say don't unbox everything just yet because I want to unbox stuff. So let's check this out. I wish I had another camera, but I don't. So we have some padding. Very nice. Put that to the side for now. Maybe we can even put it here. That's a good spot for that. Oh, we have some boxes here, some even more padding. That's good, it's secure. We get some cool glasses. Yeah, laser glasses. That's always a good sign. We have a little accessory box or something, I think. It's uh, not an accessory box. This is something uh, far more interesting. Oh, this is the lasers. This is the galvanizing laser parts. That's very exciting. I'm going to put that gently to the side because I don't want to drop that. I think those are pretty well calibrated. Uh, even had this fancy box. Put in the foam and padding into that again. So if you're not familiar to SLA, it's uh, a little bit more different compared to uh, DLP because in SLA you have uh, these two mirrors uh, pointing a very sharp laser. So the laser almost draws up the model while in a DLP you have like an image, like an LCD display that shows pixels. So in this case you should have much better detail in, in X and Y because you don't have square pixel that, that uh, cures the rest and you have a, like a smooth line, like SVG lines instead of pixels. In theory, well, we'll see, we'll see. We also got this, which is what? Oh, it looks like some sort of cards. I'm gonna take out one of them, I think, maybe. Ah, it's the X Galvo. So that looks like a pretty cool board. Looks like we're, ah, it's all connectors. So I mean, it should be fairly simple. Let's also put those carefully to the side. We do not want to break anything today, Anson. Let's not do that. Let's even put it back in that. We have a power supply, EU plug, that's up awesome. I like that a lot. More padding. Oh, this looks like we get some acrylic parts. Quite a few of them, actually. Let's see if they all go up now. Another padding. Another box. Very nice, neatly packed boxes. In this, in this we get the tools, uh, buttons, stuff, uh, probably the USB memories in here as well somewhere, as they said. Everything from, uh, there's the SD card, 
Tools, rods, motors, thingies. We even get some keys. That's pretty cool. Huh, very interesting. We'll also put that to the side. What else is there? More padding. Ooh, we get the, uh, the build tray, I suppose. This is probably where we put in the, all the parts. No, uh, sorry, the build plates. Ah, we have a build plate. That's really cool. Machine aluminum or aluminum. Aluminum. I'm not sure which country says what, but that's, that's really cool. Ooh, some, some building material. Some rods, all marked. I like that. Let me show you. Everything is marked. It says left two on this one. That's very nice. Makes it a lot easier to, to get going. A few of those. Now, you should be able to buy this machine assembled if you want as well. Another build tray. Very nice. Two of them. That's awesome. Let's put that to the side. Another accessory box with some sort of acrylic small piece. And a... Is this the power supply? Yes, a small power supply. That's awesome. Let's put that to the side as well. Let's put that small thing. And we also have in here the Z-axis. I'm gonna try to take this out without damaging this. Because this is a very crucial part of your machine. You wanna have a stable... Here you see, looking very good. Some fat linger railings here. Oh, that's, that's stable. That's really nice. Let's get that padding out of the way. Let's make a commercial break. And we're back. Everything is still recording. <laughs> Let's see, we have another cardboard piece. We get two tools, probably for assemble those as well. Let's see, are we getting to the bottom of this? No, we're not. There's actually quite a few parts in here. Let me see if I can uh... get these going. Okay, we have some uh, machine parts. This is probably where you put the bed. The laser is going to sit down here, probably. Let's try to make some extra space because we're running out of space. We have another part, probably down below and everything puts, sits on that. This is also somewhere, not sure where that part's going. Let's put that over there. We have another machine parts with a serial number. So that's very neat. Compact box. It has a lot of stuff in it. As always, I'm building myself in, in here. Now we're getting to the acrylic parts. So let's see how many they are. There's two big sheets. <laughs> where to put everything? Um, I'm gonna stand those right here. Here we see two almost pre-assembled frame parts. That's very nice. We have the back and the front, clearly marked as well. I'm gonna put those to the side for now. We have another box. Ooh, here we got some electronics. Check this out. I don't know if you can even see it, but that looks really cool. SD card reader. Some knobs, some cards, some display. I like this. I like where this is going. It looks like everything is plug and play more or less with simple connectors. So I shouldn't say too much before I start building or even look at manual. But it doesn't look that hard to assemble. So I probably save myself some bucks by getting the, the kit. Plus that I will learn a lot about the um, about the electronics and everything that goes in and that's it folks that's all that was inside that huge box so probably gonna be this size that looks really cool can't, can't wait to uh to get started and some of the parts here let's put them over there all the build trays in the same place all right I think we're ready to um, have a look at the PDF. So this is just the unboxing. Um, maybe I'll live stream the build, but probably I'll record it and have it in the uh, in the actual review. So um, so yeah, that's more or less everything that's inside. So let me take a few close-ups for you, and we'll 
we'll call it we'll call it today and i'll see you guys in the next video where i hopefully started printing with this you can check out my twitter and my facebook uh i will probably post a lot of this process there so uh yeah you can check that out so see you guys in the next video bye Building a machine